Konnichiwa, my name is Dora. That means, hi, my name is Dora in Japanese. What is your name? Sugoi! That means great in Japanese. It's lunchtime. Do you want to go eat? Let's go! Itadakimasu! That means, let's eat in Japanese. That's what people say before they eat. Oishi! That means tasty in Japanese. Wa sayaku! That means, oh no, in Japanese. He stole my boba! And we need to get Swiper! What is this? You must solve this to continue. Aw, oh, dang it. It looks so hard. You'll need at least a B to get across the bridge. Okay. I did this. Oh no, I gotta be! What am I supposed to do? My mom is going to be so mad at me! <gasps> I'm not going to be a doctor or a lawyer anymore because I gotta be on this! Oh no, what am I supposed to do? Sayaku! That means, oh no, in Japanese. <gasps> well, at least I can get through the bridge. <gasps> Look, there's Swiper! No, it's empty. Swiper drank it all. This is what you say when you get mad at someone in Japanese. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Today, Swiper took all my boba, which is really sad. But I hope you guys had fun learning new Japanese words. We learned konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa. Sayaku. Wow. And how to get mad at people in Japanese. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Sayonara. Gonna be there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I, I can. I can be there for. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I'll try to be there. Mom left a note on the counter. All right. I'll call you later. Bye. Uh. Hey. Get changed. We're leaving. Where are we going? I'm taking you to your uh, club thingy. That's today? Uh, apparently. Well, I don't really want to do that today. What do you mean you don't want to do that today? Well, I mean exactly what I said. That was rhetorical. I know. Just please get changed again in the car. No. Get in the car. No. Just get in the car. No. Get in the car! No. I will give you five bucks to get in the car. What's taking you so long? Hang on, I'm changing!
All right, let's go. No, but not all the music. I was listening to that. Oh, too bad. Oh my god. No. Yes. Stop it. Yep. in there. Get out of my car. Okay, I guess. Going home? Are you being serious? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Help me! Give me a No, you're going to the thing. No, I can't. Give me my phone. No. Give me my phone. Why is this uh, locked? It's it's cancelled. Alright, whatever. Hey, good change. We have to go to the I messed up. Just just cut it. <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Now you may be wondering, why am I looking at cows? Well, actually, there is no reason. But I mean, here's a cool story. It all started one day on the farm. Look at this. It's crazy. People still be eating the beef, no? Ha, huh, I know, right? That's why I opened up my own ice cream shop, eh? I'd be fighting for all our injustices, moo. You dumb fly swatting polka dotted cow, you Maggie Moo. What do you think you are? Who are you talking to? Look at this. It's disgusting. Maybe you should just start your own shop then. Fine. Maybe I will, Moo. And so began my quest to find a replacement for beef. I traveled through thick and thin, high and low, wide and narrow. However, this tiring journey was totally worth it, because I met thy chicken. What's your name? Back. Who do you work for? Back. You think that this is a game? This is reality, chicken! This is the end of the line for you, chicken. Okay, okay. This is one of my darkest times. Just pretend that didn't happen. Ha ha ha. Here, uh, listen to this bop of a song. Sunday Chick -fil -A. I, I eventually made my you. first partnership and I need you but a Sunday starting from the ground up I designed a place to display my new creation you're the love of my life if it were legal I'd make you my wife you serve the best chicken and waffle fries give me that number two. after all my hard enduring work Chick-fil-A like became the place we all know and love today. Unless you're vegan, don't eat here. I'ma keep it real at 
the register, I'm ballin' my order You're cooking my drink, I am sipping my name, you are calling. Everything I say, you respond with my pleasure I sit in the booth, chowing down at my leisure But you're closed when I need you real bad So I'm stuck at my house, feeling nothing but sad Singing Chick-fil-A I want you I need you the sound Get you some ice. The strangest thing happened. Hi, my name is Maeve. I think it was actually meant to be born in the 80s. I guess you could call me a hopeless romantic because sometimes I feel like love isn't real anymore. It's the 21st century, so I guess the only place I talk to boys is online, so that's great. I spend most of my time listening to music and watching TV because it gets me out of the reality of 2020. But mostly music. Records. I love records. Listening to music on phones just doesn't have the same effect. Never felt so good. Can't die, they never come. 
Dancing to my favorite music makes me come alive. It makes me forget the world for a moment. Sometimes I write songs to get out of my despair, but sometimes they're really dark, and I don't know any other way to express my feelings besides a song. In fact, I don't say any of my feelings at all. I just keep them boiled up most of the time until one day it just comes out in the shower. You can't keep spending money all the time. I had to get those things for the kids. They need clothes. I work so hard to make that money and you just blow it all the time. I know. My parents fight all the time. What am I going to do? I just go into my room and listen to music when that happens. So life just goes on. That's my motto. I just got to get through this class, this minute, this day. This was my mindset for months until I met you. Oh no, today's Valentine's Day. Every word we can't take back. Cause with all that has happened, I think that we both know the way that the story ends. Then only for a minute, I want to change my mind. Cause this just don't feel right to me. I want to raise your spirits. I want to see you smile.
Hey, so I've been stressing about getting a girl a Valentine's Day gift. Do you have any ideas? Um, dude, you should get her some flowers. Some flowers? That's a good idea. Alright. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, welcome. Alright, thank you, bye. We pretended we're okay Now if we jump together At least we can swim far away from the wreck we made Then only for a minute I want to change my mind Cause this just don't feel right to me I want to raise your spirits I want to see you smile But no, that means I'll have doing in my house? Never mind. The silent alarm has been triggered and the police are on their way. I won't do anything, but they will. I'm not afraid to use this. I'm sure. You know, you, you have a nice, you have a nice home. Yeah, I know. What are you getting at? Hey. Hey! Hey! All he did was take my broken headphones. They won't turn on. 
You serious? You're right where you are. Oh, crap. Oh, hey, Jess. Where's Amanda? Her mom picked her up. Well, she could have stayed for dinner. She wanted her home. Oh, well, that's too bad. And police in Brundage are continuing to search for a missing 14-year-old girl. Anyone with information is please urged to uh, contact the Brundage Police Department at 334-735. Good afternoon, ma'am. Um, I'm Private Investigator Jim Moore. I was wondering if I could speak with Jess Stewart. Uh, oh, sure. Jess? Uh, come on in. Thank you. Who's that? It's okay, just come and sit down. It's okay, sit down. Thank you for meeting with me. Um, I was wondering if there was anything you could tell me about the disappearance of Amanda Williams. to let you know I'm home. Is there anything to eat? Uh, not really, but you can make some cereal or something. <sighs> Always cereal. You're joking. Oh my god. We need milk. What? We're, We're out, out of milk. Are you serious? Yes. Did you check the garage? No. There's no milk in there. Alright, I'm just getting some milk. Okay. Someone's phone. We gotta go. What's going you on? You just gotta drive. What? Uh, all right. Let's get out of here. Jeez. Just... 
Stop following me! You dropped your wallet. It looks to be in a coma. We need to shock Three, him two, back one. to life. Whoa. This is pretty sick. I don't know what you are, but you're my friend now. This is really what I see in my head. Whoa. Everything oh, I don't know what's happening. Do I use standard form, slope formula, y intercept, y axis, y equals mx plus b, ax plus by equals c? Is it 3 minus 5 over 7 minus 2, or is it 7 minus 2 over 3 over 5? Does y equal 0, or does y equal 4? Did we even learn about this? Graphing? Which one is quadrant 2? Time's up. Put your chest in the basket. so sad. Because I feel the math test, I know it. Oh man, hey, why don't you sit down, let's talk about it. I need some company. Hey, what's your name? Tom. Tom. So, what else has been going on? It's just my family, it's just not really going that well. Oh man. Well, you know, sometimes, of course I'm an old guy, and, and, you try to do things by yourself, and I know that math is kind of tough, but sometimes, you know, maybe math's not going to be your game. But you may want to ask your mom and dad about maybe helping you out on that. And, you know, from there, it's more of maybe having a conversation, because I try to keep things in. I never really try to reach out to my parents, and kind of like you, it upset me. I had my parents, they fought like cats and dogs. 
and you know when I, when I think about things it's kind of like when I was young I kind of got bullied by people you had to happen to you too yes sir oh man is it happening now it happened today you've had a rough day yeah. you know I kind of look at some of this stuff like lifelines you know if you try to fix it yourself and you can't you need to reach out maybe to people you think you can talk to your mom and dad about what happened at school bullying I'll try well if not you may want to talk to some adult at school you know and, and they might be able to help you. it's scary when you're gonna call people out but it's the right thing to do and if your parents will help you that'll be great because when I was younger my parents they fought like cats and dogs and I didn't want to talk to them and I ran away and the police got me and I ran away again and then they put me in foster homes and I bounced around and I never could share what I felt I tried to fix things myself and I really just failed miserably so my advice to you is talk to them if you can and and if you don't feel comfortable about the math is one thing is that you might seek help from school any tutoring and your parents may step up and they may also start thinking about why they're fighting and be more focused on you and that's important so for me I just kept running away didn't go to school I, I fi never finished high school never finished college and for you it's an opportunity to, hey, you're you're a good you're a good kid, and go for it. Hey Tom, I tell you what, if I could do a do-over, I wish I would have been able to talk to my parents or the foster parents because I do know they love me, and I hope it turns out well for you. Thank you so much. I'll definitely talk to my parents. I don't want to end up like what happened to you. It just doesn't seem like a good life out here. Hey, come and see me again, Tom. I enjoyed talking to you. You helped me a lot. I hope I helped you. You did. Thank you so much. Alrighty. What's your name anyways? Hey, I'm the homeless guy. Nineteen out of thirty, this sucks.
my name's Cletus. And I'm Demetrius. And, and we, we are, are Bigfoot Big Hunters. Hunters. <laughs> It's our first night out here in the wilderness of Tennessee. Uh, we're gonna get out the, on the hunt pretty soon and try to catch ourselves a Bigfoot. I've actually been hunting Bigfoot since I was about a four-year-old boy. Uh, in my family, we were abandoned out of the womb and raised by wolves. Focus this gosh dang camera on me. All right, there we go. All right, as you can tell, we're in the thick wilderness, wilderness of Tennessee. Thick with three C's. Uh, we're gonna get this hunt on and it's gonna start. So I was to get deeper into these here woods um, where the conditions are gonna get better for finding yourself a squash and if I can find myself a feeding ground which have the right elevation and temperature we'll have a good chance of finding ourselves a squat, you know. Cold air and wilderness for miles. As you can see a dust and a cat fritz by it. All we gotta do is just watch that bait right over there. Bigfoots are actually like Mott's applesauce. You can smell them up to seven miles away. What in tarnation? Oh my god! Oh my! Demetrius, I think we got ourselves a Bigfoot! Son of a biscuit! Do oh. right here! Do right here! Get right here! I'm gonna get you! Oh, I'm gonna get you! Oh, I'm gonna get you! Oh, I'm gonna get you! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Stick! Run! Oh, good. Take off! Ah. 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 Looking back on my experience, I'm glad that it happened. I came to realize that Bigfoots are actually can be good people and good friends, and I'm glad I made a new friend. Bigfoots are actually super friendly. I met one and I had a great time. <laughs> 